Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Find your dream aviation and aerospace jobs at www.wingsofarrow.in. Now we are going to learn how to find the isentropic efficiency and the horsepower required to drive the centrifugal compressor. Consider the pressure of air being compressed in a centrifugal compressor is doubled. The inlet temperature is 27 degree Celsius and final temperature is 105 degree Celsius. Calculate the isentropic efficiency of the compressor and horsepower required to drive it if 30 kg of air are compressed per minute. C suffix P is equal to 0.239 and C suffix V is equal to 0.171. Here we consider the centrifugal compressor. Let us write the given rates. Inlet temperature of air at compressor T1 is equal to 27 degree Celsius or 300 Kelvin and exit temperature T2 is equal to 105 degree Celsius or 378 Kelvin and mass flow per minute M is equal to 30 kg and specific heat at constant pressure C suffix P is equal to 0.239 and specific heat at constant volume C suffix V is equal to 0.171 now we have to find out the isentropic efficiency and the horsepower required for centrifugal compressor. So centrifugal compressor is a machine in which a particular gas or vapor is compressed by radial acceleration by an impeller with the help of a surrounding case. It can then be arranged multi-stage for greater proportions of compression. The compression is largely influenced by a centrifugal pump. First, find the isentropic efficiency. So, isentropic efficiency of a compressor is the ratio of useful energy output over the total energy input. The isentropic efficiency is also equal to the ratio of isentropic temperature rise to actual temperature rise. When the efficiency is defined on the basis of static temperature rise, it is given by eta suffix i is equal to t1 minus t2 dash divided by t2 minus t1 where we know t1 is the inlet temperature t2 is exit temperature and t2 dash is the static temperature which is unknown from isentropic relation we can find the static temperature then write t2 dash divided by t1 is equal to p2 divided by p1 to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma where gamma is the heat capacity ratio we know gamma is equal to c suffix p divided by c suffix v. then gamma is equal to 1.4 in this question the compressed pressure is doubled so we can write pressure ratio p2 divided by p1 as 2 now solve this equation we get t2 dash is equal to 366 kelvin now substitute the values in equation number 1 and simplify we get the required isentropic efficiency is 0.845 or 84.5 percent next find the horsepower so horsepower the common unit of power that is the rate at which work is done horsepower is depends on the actual rise in temperature then write hp is equal to j into m into c suffix p into t2 minus t1 divided by 4500 where j is the mechanical equivalent of heat which is 427 kilogram force meter per kilo calories now solve this equation with known values that the required horsepower to drive the compressor is 53.1 did you know the moon is drifting away from the earth 
The moon is moving approximately 3.8 cm away from our planet every year. It is estimated that it will continue to do so for around 50 billion years. By the time that happens, the moon will be taking around 47 days to orbit the earth instead of the current 27.3 days. A person would weigh much less on the moon. The moon has much weaker gravity than earth due to its smaller mass. So you would weigh about one sixth of your weight on earth. This is why the lunar astronauts could live and bound so high in the air. The moon is the fifth largest natural satellite in the solar system. At 3475 km in diameter, the moon is much smaller than the major moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Earth is about 80 times the volume than the moon, but both are about the same age. A prevailing theory is that the moon was one spot of the earth and was formed from a chunk that broke away due to a huge object colliding with the earth when it was relatively young. If you have further inquiry or requested video, drop down to our mail wingsofarrow at the rate gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. For the time being, take care, stay blessed, inspired and fly high.